possible to accept that 46 million Americans go to sleep every night, 1.2 million of them here in New Jersey without any health care coverage whatsoever. And they cannot afford to get ill because if they do, they won't be able to go to work the next day. They have to go to an emergency room for their medical care. It simply is not acceptable that the wealthiest nation in the world isn't also the healthiest nation in the world. We have a much different vision as to how we take America and make sure that each and every American has health care coverage in this country. And that's what this election is also all about. My opponent understanding that families struggle to be able to achieve their hopes and dreams and aspirations wants to make the tax cuts for the wealthiest people in the country permanent I guess maybe in his tax bracket I understand that with the trust funds that he has uh, he also at the same time that he votes against the millionaires tax here in New Jersey he votes against raising the minimum wage people who work at some of the toughest jobs we have in our state get up every day, work hard, spend 40 hours a week, and at the end of the week, they're still somewhat below the poverty level. I think that's wrong. I think it's morally reprehensible. I think work should be valued and should be honored, but you honor it by giving people wages that ultimately can sustain their families and their dreams and their aspirations. I have a different set of values than my opponent, a different vision of what America can be in that respect as well. And I believe that this is a nation of tolerance and understanding and that no one should be discriminated against, regardless of who they are, their station in life, uh, their race, their religion, or their sexual orientation. I am proud of our advocacy and our work, and as some of you have talked to me about, I'm proud of my record with the Human Rights Campaign Fund of over 90-something percent over my lifetime in the Congress of the United States, a 100 percent record in this last session of Congress. I'm proud of the belief that we should not institutionalize in the Constitution of the United States discrimination of any form and my opposition to that. I believe that when one of us is left behind, all of us are diminished. That is not the belief of the Bush administration. That is not the belief of this Republican Congress, and it certainly isn't the belief of my opponent.